Yo, what up guys? What up? Alright, welcome back to another update. I haven't made any trade on this until today. And uh, I finally closed out my um, Nordstrom trade. I bought this for uh, earning um, season and also for the um, taking private news. That was a thing and uh, to be honest, it went down to like 5 cents and finally this past couple of days it went back up to 60 cents so I decided to close it out I'm not sure it's a wise move because it's nearly in the money and uh, my account is back to green and these are what I have left right now um, so at this moment um, so I mean I want to tell you the reason why I decided to uh, close out on uh, Nordstrom um, as you can see here so Nordstrom um, this past for a couple of days, you know, it would pass by five days. It went up more than twenty percent, and um, you know the one I, um, the one that I saw is thirty five straight. And uh, next week is expiration, and at this moment, you know, as you can see here, you know, it's one, two, three. So I mean, it's a resistant level. Um, I mean, at this point. I mean, this one right here, this I guess is the earning, and there are a lot of people buying. And after afterward, um, the um, you know um, the China came out and like you know increased the tariff, and Trump decided to increase the tariff back, and then you know everything got kind of messy. And but luckily, I had you know, enough time, and it's gone up. So so right now, I mean, it reached this resistance level. Usually, when it reaches, it bounces back and then go up again. Uh, it did penetrate here, so that's a good thing. That means it's probably gonna go up higher, but I think it's gonna, you know, come back down uh, a bit before it go higher. So I mean, at this point, that's why I decided to. What that's one of the reason why I decided to sell the, um, you know, to to close the position because the thing is, I only have until next week, so you know, one week and a half. The thing with option pricing, based on my experience, is that. You know, when you only have a week left of uh, of pricing after next week, and you're not in the money, or you know within the three percent, you know the pri um the pricing you know got killed by data. Data gonna destroy your price. So at this point, I mean, I bought the option price, uh, the option for thirty five dollar, uh, for basically thirty five dollar for thirty five strike. And I saw it out today for sixty dollars for twenty five dollar gain, like seventy percent gain uh, of this option. I want to be more, but at this point, um, you know, I I don't have that much time. I should roll over something. I want to also make a ghetto spread, but the thing is, the next uh, strike up is thirty seven point five, and I can only get ten dollar out for that. You know, I bought this option a long time ago. And you know it literally went down to like five cent, you know, and then now it went back up. You know, within of this three days, this did five days, it went back up more than a thousand percent. So uh, I mean, at this point, I could play around and and take the chance, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna close out this trade, take a small profit, and um, do it. You know, make another trade. You know, I could roll over if I want to, but I need something longer time frame based on my reasoning right here. You know, so right now that my reasoning, I'm not sure whether or not is right because I mean it, it at thirty four right now, um, twenty four. So I mean it's close to thirty five. You know, and you know within within a week and a half, it definitely can go up. So at this point, you know there is no right or wrong. You know, just choices. So that's what I did. So. You know, we'll see what's going to happen. That's all, guys. So thank you for watching this video. Smash that like button if you think it's helpful. And uh, subscribe. Thank you. Bye.